Hi guys, and today I'm going to be pretty much after our League One season ended yesterday in disappointment for us, obviously, and with the players coming out of contract, I'm going to be giving you my version of do I want to keep the player or I want to let the player go? So let's get started. Lee Bird has had a funny old season for me. He's kept the inkling seats, but he's also made a lot of mistakes, if you get what I mean. And it doesn't really, and it, the ear inkling seats for me flatters the goalkeeper he actually is, if you get what I mean. Because I don't think he's a good goalkeeper. I mean, he's probably lost a good 10 to 15 points. And to be honest, I saved the penalty that yesterday and I he's almost like he might have almost the odd points but to be fair I'll probably let Labour go in the summer at the end of his contract like I said because I'm looking for two better goalkeepers next day. I think if Labour stays as back up it wouldn't be the end of the world me after it. But I definitely want to bet number one going into next season. So yeah. Remy Matthews, easy let go of, he just is not good enough if you get Get what I mean? I mean, literally, he's made mistake in about 90% of the games that he has played in. I just don't see the point if you get what I mean. Like, and the only possible is not going up. We don't have to trigger another year in his contract, I guess. So, yeah. Conor McLaughlin's an interesting one. While I don't necessarily mind Conor McLaughlin, by the way, he has had a lot of injury problems at like this season and to be honest I probably would let Kong McLaughlin go if you get what I mean because as well one of the things that he like he doesn't really often but going forward if you get what I mean I, I think he's an okay defensive right back but going forward I would want a right back that is defensively solid and to be honest he doesn't have the pace either he's defensively solid but yeah if McLaughlin's McGlo another one where if he was to stay as a backup I wouldn't complain but I probably would let Conor McLaughlin go. So yeah, Denver Hume. I like Denver Hume. He's like a good, a good player, and I think that he's a better attack and fall back than he's defensively. What we have got to sort out, like if if Denver Hume stays, we have got to sort out this like the defensive thing with Denver Hume for me because I think if you would tighten him defensive up, um. And like get him and get his crossing ability spot on because he's got a great direct run. You have got the cracking left back at League One level, and I would offer Denver Hume a new contract. So yeah, Callum Madfazden, probably one of the easiest decision on this list. Let Callum Madfazden go. He's been our well, maybe he hasn't been our worst player this season, but if you get what I mean, he like. Hasn't been great. I mean, the amount of goals that came down his side was ridiculous. I actually don't even think, like, the last few, like, games, like, before he got dropped for Denver Hume, um, he has actually been that bad, if you get what I mean. But if we're being, obviously, came in yesterday because there was no Denver Hume, but I don't think he'd been that bad. But if we're being totally honest and totally ruthless, talent, my fasting, like, won't be, like, good enough to get us out of League One next season, so I would let him go and I personally think he'll either get bottom half League One or he'll have to go back down to League Two, so yeah. Max Power, <laughs> Max Power is probably one of the most controversial ones on this list, but I would let Power go, he just goes missing in too many games. To be fair, he is a better right back than he's sent with midfielder, but he's not really sent with midfielder and he goes missing in too many games, like, he lets the player, like, go past him, I mean, and that shot yesterday in the 93rd minute, like, that's your captain, me, I, I stress, and he's taking a shot in the 93rd minute of a playoff semi-final when we're getting beat from 45, from about 35, 40 yards, and it wasn't even, like, one where it was, like, goats, like, trouble to go nearly, nearly scored against Lincoln on the Wednesday one. No, it was one where when we over the bar, and I would let Max Power go, so yeah. Grant Ledbetter, I mean, this is an interesting one, because I personally do think Ledbetter, with the way, I mean, I don't want to see him to act him, but the way he was going on, I personally do think that Ledbetter's going to retire in the summer. But if it was up to me, knowing that we're in League One again, I would give Ledbetter another year, because I think that he's a good player to have around the dressing room and whatever, I know, even if it, and good player to have around the dressing room, I mean, in some in the bigger games, to be fair, I will play him, and, and 
by the way, you wouldn't start everybody like you have this way, but I reckon you'll be a good influence, like, in the dressing room, like, someone who you want to have there, and I think that, um, he would take that role, I mean, but, yeah, yes, Lebe would stay for me, but I personally think he's going to retire, so, yeah, Josh Gordon, oh, there's another one, get rid of Josh Gordon, the reason why, because he's going terrible, he does have a lot of energy, and he does have uses, like, in the team, like, by his energy, like, he can tackle and wing a ball, if you get what I mean. But, my God, he can't pass, pass a ball. And that one a midfield job, job is, if you get what I mean, in my opinion. And, and surely, a midfielder knows how to pass five yards, and he doesn't. He has a great ending on him. And, yes, and he can't even shoot. I mean, God, see, he's only goals this season. He'll probably come with his head, what, George is embarrassing. And... I don't think Josh Gorn's good enough, so I would let Josh Gorn go as well and reconstruct the centre midfield because, because next season, if it was a Winchester, it wouldn't be there. Like I've said, if it was up to me, Ledbit would be still there. Embleton's back as a more attacker midfielder. And then I would also have Dan Neil, maybe another one or two there, so yeah. Um, Luke on 9, I would keep Local 9, he's a cracking lad, it's not just because some fans might have gone, but Local 9 is being a cracking lad, he fills in everywhere and gives you a solid performance, if I'm being honest. But next season, if Local 9 did stay, play him as centre midfielder, ah, he's versatile and um, whatever, if you get my mean, but he best move, um, percentage as a midfielder, I think he would be a great box box midfielder. So for me, I would keep Local 9, but I personally think he'll go, so yeah. Chris Maguire, I just think his time is Sunderland's up, if you get what I mean, like, Johnson doesn't fancy him, I'm surprised he started yesterday, to be honest, but I don't think he was actually that bad anyway, but he was taken off, and he'd rarely got a sniff, and whatever, I just do not think he fits into Johnson's plans, and Maguire, is probably the right time for Maguire to move on as well, like, a part of the squad that is singing just, like, feels to get out of the league, one for years in a row, because most of the players that... They are like in the first year who's delay, I wouldn't be surprised if they were gone. So for me I would like Chris McGuire go. So yeah, Ben can be okay, you've played the only youth player that I'll be talking about as he is kind of one that's on the fringe of the bring into the team but never quite good enough. He went and one to talk here and to be honest, I don't even know how he did, but for me I would let Ben can be okay go because for me I we might be looking back in, in, in two or three years thinking, Oh, we've missed the trick in this one. But Ben can be okay just won't be good enough to get into the first team and considering this, I know it's the matter, but Jack Diamond, who's I think the same age as him, is like in our first team and at least gets on the bench every week. And Ben can be okay on Long Talk eight. If you get what I mean. I being in the and he does have Pierce to burn and he does have an automatic years contract extension. So for me, if Kim Bioga steered, okay, fair enough, like, he's going to squad play for next season, but if he doesn't, I wouldn't cry over it. So, yeah, Ian McGeady, obviously there was controversy with every player yesterday with his contract where he was brilliant, and for me, I would keep Ian McGeady, because McGeady's been great for us. I, people will argue that he's been here for four years now, McGeady's been a part of the four worst teams in Sunderland's history, but the thing I would argue with McGeady is that he is like, he was one of the better players in three of the four years, if you get what I mean, and McGeady has been class. Yeah, I think he ended up eating assists in our competition and he only played half the season. He was, he was, he's been unbelievable. Even at 35, McGeady still got, McGeady still one of the best players in this division, and for me, McGeady still to get offered a new contract, even if it's got to be like, on reduced terms like, I said I would, but for me personally, I don't think McGeady will go, so yeah. And Charlie White got 31 goals this season, a top goal scorer. Although next season, um, I don't know if I was done that, obviously it does sound crazy, but he only can one, one type of goal, and that's with his head really. Um, he missed the sitter yesterday, but I would keep White because he would be stupid for anyone not to like um, keep him if you get what I mean. Do I think Michael steer personally, me? No, I do think Michael will go in the summer because the champions have been interested and that might seem as the only chance to maybe, like, 
getting the championship if you get what I mean and Miri's last chance so yeah so that's the end of the video leave your opinion on the players out of contract would you who would you keep who would you let go because it's going to be interesting to find out who's going to get offered new contract and who's not so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll be back next when something big happens with Sunderland so yeah so that's the end of the video like subscribe view comment and say yeah